Slappy's not happy! What's going on guys and welcome to another Reputize video! Goosebumps came out in 2015, was directed by Rob Lederman and stars Jack Black, Dylan Medetti, Odea Rush, and Ryan Lee. It involves this teenager who teams up with R.L. Stein, the creator of the famous children's books from Scholastic, and his daughter to stop the forces of evil. Apparently all the monsters has escaped from his books. All those monsters that he wrote came true. This was pretty interesting. I was always a fan of the books when I was growing up. I used to read them front and back, left to right, up and down. You name it. It was a real treat seeing Hollywood actually do a movie of this. And it was actually a good story. The characters was good. Jack Black's R.L. Stein was funny as ever. And you, know, you always expect that in about every movie you play, especially if it's a comedy. The only character I couldn't get into is Champ. He was whiny and he kept on screwing things up for the others. Like they would try to be hiding from a monster and he would open up a soda can at the worst dumbest times and he would sneeze. He may have been there for the comic relief, but Jack Black was enough for me. I just didn't feel the need for that character to be in this movie at all. I'm sorry guys, but that's just me. The editing was done pretty good. It wasn't too choppy. It, it was just perfect. There wasn't no shaky camera, so that was good. Danny Elfman's score was done pretty well. It was great for what the movie was. It made you feel like you were in a family-friendly film, but at the same time, give that eerie vibe. Same as the cinematography and the lighting. It wasn't too dark, it wasn't too light, but it was just perfect. It really took me back. When I used to read those books, I used to be obsessed over some of the monsters. Like I said, it was done really well. The story and the script was really good. It was original, and that's what I liked about it. The monsters coming alive out of these books, out of these famous children books. And I thought that was pretty good. My favorite was Slappy, which is also in this movie was voiced by Jack Black. And I thought that was pretty good. I had to do some more research on this because every time Slappy would speak, his voice would sound so familiar. Then I would hear Jack Black as R.L. Stein speak. I was thinking in my head, that voice sounds so familiar. So when I looked it up and I was surprised, Slappy was Jack Black as well. And I thought that was a pretty interesting casting choice too. So actually Jack Black plays two characters in this. It just felt like a real Goosebumps movie. It really took me back. The monsters looked really great. Most of it was prosthetics and it was done, it looked real. All except for the blob who ate everything. I believe that's what the, one of the stories was called. But of course, how can you do that prosthetic wise? It's a blob. But it, it was done fair. It wasn't bad. I actually liked the way that looked. The pros, it was a good film for the kids. I think the kids really enjoyed it. And for the adults who grew up in that era when the books was being written, I think it would be a real treat. And you even get a cameo from R.L. Stein himself, but in passing. So I thought that was pretty good too. All right, the cons, like I said before, is just that one Ill, little itty bitty con, that champ character. It's just, I couldn't get into his character. I just, I felt like they should have just wrote him out earlier. I don't know, I just couldn't stand him. My final thoughts on this, it was a great movie. It was good for the family. And it's, it's, a, it's really worth it. And I suggest you check it out as soon as you can, especially before this weekend. I'm giving Goosebumps a B plus. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and get reputized. Peace to rip out.